Hello everyone, this is size 10 straight chunk hook and thread I'm using is block A2. As usual, just start below the eye. I will explain all the materials. I'm just going to go above just to give a nice shape to the body. Just tapered it up like a little bit. Come back, touching turn. All the way to the bend. And just before you reach to the bend, just stop there and do a couple of turn. For the tail, this is the Glowbrite number 12, this fluorescent green thread. So I'm folding it a few times. You can fold according to the size. I'm just do one more. I'm just going to keep the body length. So just make sure it's sitting just on the top. And uh, for the ribs, I'm using this holographic blue tinsel. So if you take the piece off, you just catch it same time. Now here, you have to take your time and use nice touch and turn. Keep going all the way up to the eye. all the way that should be okay I'm just gonna chop this off and then cover this now just bring your tinsel by leaving nice enough cup just wanted to seal some blow in there, you know. That's enough. And secure this. Cut this off. Secure it properly. And just get some fluff off. Be careful when you do that because you could burn the whole lot, you know. Use scissor half inch to secure. Now, what I'm gonna do is add some UV resins here. Take your time just to give a nice effect you know the glass body you know nice and and then cure it Right, I'm gonna take this tail off, just half of the body length, and then use some brush to kind of fluff it up. Okay. The next step I'm using is a hako. This is a hand hako. Now, I just don't want to 
I just want to take her over, not too much. So if I could get this top end out, just to create a catching point. Just do a few turn and fold this back. Okay, and take away this extra. I'll stroke these ones backward. And just nice lay do all these huckle make sure you take your time here and then catch it and secure this Okay. This is all scale now. Okay, I'm going to add these mallard wings. These are primary feathers. And I took from one from last left and one from right so body length and just to create a roof shape pinch and loop I'm just gonna do a that's okay Very tricky, you know, these wings, you need a lot of practice to do that. So once you secure them, I'm going to do a few more turns so they don't slip. And just chop them off very close. Here I'm going to use lighter. Just to get a nice head. And we'll finish. And you can work with these after. I'm going to use a varnish on the head. Take your time on this varnish. So there we have uh, another a variation of Viva Loch Bumbo. This is great pattern for loch fishing for a brown trout. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.